What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday two minute tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can use the content aware fill tool in Photoshop to remove distractions and objects really easily in your photos. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo that you'd like to remove either a person or an object from either the foreground or background. Now I found this photo, which has got a coffee cup sitting on a table. But what happens if I wanted to remove the coffee cup? Well, we can actually use a really simple tool called the Content Aware Fill Tool. So how do we firstly activate this? Well, firstly, we want to be working on a duplicated background layer. Just in case we make any mistakes, we always have a layer to go back to. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. Once we've done that, we now need to actually select the area we want to remove. Now I find the easiest way to do this is by using the Polygon Lasso tool, which I have got on the left hand side here, but any type of selection tool will work best. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly click around the area that I want to remove. Now I want to remove the coffee cup. So as you can see, I have now simply created a selection there. So all we will need to do now is simply remove that area. And we can do this by going up to edit, and then we're gonna go down to content fill. So we're gonna go and select it here. Now in the fill tool, we want to go ahead and choose content aware. Now you wanna make sure we don't choose any of these. We want to make sure content aware is selected. And then all you'll need to do is simply click okay. And what will Photoshop do is it'll work out using the surrounding pixels, roughly what should be replaced. And as you can see, it is done not too bad of a job. So if I go ahead and just deselect that, you can see that it hasn't perfectly done it. I must say it can do a better job, but I have chosen a specifically very difficult photo. Of course, in different scenarios, it will come up with different results. But now you can actually use the clone tool and maybe other tools to try and fix that area. So if I show you the before where the coffee cup is, and then if I show you the after, you can see it is removed really easily using the Content Aware Fill tool. And there we go, guys.